it's time to ignore the skeptics. And I think the only explanation for the skeptics is that there will always be doubters of anything, any phenomenon like this, number one. And number two, there are powerful economic forces at work. Industries that are concerned that action on climate change may be to their disadvantage. And so in the end, not that surprising that some voice doubts. It seems to me that the, that the issue uh, of conservation of the, of, the, of the natural world is something which can unite humanity if, it's, if people know enough about it. Persuade them to change the way in which they behave, to change their view that gross materialism and the search of material uh, wealth uh, is not the only thing in life. Existing on a planet in crisis, absorb the scenes of devastating destruction and damage my iris, decimate my pupil, the actions of bloodlines that date back to Queen Semiramis or Isis, and Nimrod or Osiris, global control over thousands of years embedded in media and politics, senior authorities are blatant, misleading of majorities, crops of propaganda feeding the colonies, royalty and monarchies, corporate monopolies, a very frightening realisation of prophecies coming true, and people don't want to know the truth, even when you tell them geezer is right in front of you, even the people that I'm sat and taking the knowledge in I'm seeing the facts and acknowledging That life is about so much more than a paper chase A minority effort can't save a race Very few people are listening apparently But I'll still stand here and make my plea to humanity The world's decaying rapidly People are cracking on and showing a disgusting amount of apathy Very few people are listening apparently But I'll still stand here and make my plea to humanity Starting to feel the world's agony That's why these words and sentiments are expressed infallibly the trouble is that much of the rest of the world wants to live and spend like Americans. So now I've set the tone, but would it make any difference if I was saying it muted or through a megaphone? I think not, because people are more concerned with consumerism and with the latest mobile telephone. The biggest widescreen, the flashiest car on the drive, a proper part-time star on the side. Ha! More concerned about your appointment with Tony and Guy, making sure you get your weed, Charlie, or opium high. As we obliterate reserves of our fossil fuels, listen to the sample at the end about the concentration of poisons in our air molecules. We're talking dangerous levels, like the enrichment of uranium metals by uranium rebels and the North Koreans, Western civilization is under threat and Europeans won't stand for it, nor will the Yanks, man. We've always been the main threat, you don't stand a chance, man. Very few people are listening apparently, but I'll still stand here and make my plea to humanity. The world's decaying rapidly, people are cracking up and showing a disgusting amount of apathy. Very few people are listening apparently, but I'll still stand here and make my plea to humanity. Starting to feel the world's agony, that's why these words and sentiments are expressed infallibly. We have lost half of the world's forests. Half of the world's wetlands, half of the world's grasslands. We are systematically eradicating many of the habitats that make up the world's ecosystems. We are the stewards of this planet, son, and I for one feel as if it's a moral responsibility to conserve the amazing species of wildlife from every rainforest and coral reef that visibly are being savagely destroyed, perfectly normal to some in mine and nature's eyes illicitly. Physically we're killing Mother Earth and emotionally she can't cope, she's surrounded by misery. There's some confusion, many idiot people the think. solution to pollution is delusion. So all the toxic waste you pump into the ocean and fumes into the atmosphere are justified pollutants. As far as excuses go, it's nice that, but it doesn't bring back the polar ice cap. Or put a halt to the persistent climate change, a young man speaking in the midst of a dying age. It is impossible and unacceptable and just won't work to say to the, the poor of China and India, you can't have what we've got. So the only way that we can get a deal with the people of the world to preserve human civilization is to say it's not any longer going to be economic growth for economic growth, say it's a more equitable world where everyone has the basic things that human beings need and then we cease to find the meaning of life out of more and more economic growth and more and more consumption. Because in our kind of society where that's what's happening, it's not only plundering the world and unsustainable, is making people miserable. Africans have thrived on this continent for very many years. Without aeroplanes, without trains, without uh, skyscrapers, without all the modern development that we think when we look at the West. But that's what development means. To me, development means staying alive, having a quality of life. Not so much 
a life that is surrounded by good things, but a life where you can live in a clean and healthy environment, where you can drink clean water. Over the four billion sweep of the planet's history, climate has been wildly varied. There have been times when maybe the whole planet's been a ball of snow and ice, and times when exotic tropical animals have roamed the poles. But during all our recorded history, the last six to eight thousand years, the climate has been unusually steady. With the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, say around 1780, when we first started burning fossil fuels, and then at an accelerating rate, carbon dioxide levels have risen. You know, 280 parts per million of carbon dioxide for thousands of years, up to 330 by 1960, 360 by the 90s, 380 today. The last time the planet came to equilibrium with greenhouse gas concentrations of the kind that we're looking toward, 500 parts per million by the middle of the century, was 20 to 40 million years ago, and the oceans at that equilibrium point were about 300 feet higher. 